Hello, and welcome to Decor It Yourself. Last week we started our two-part lighting series. There are just so many rad DIY lighting ideas out there, we had to make it two episodes. So this week, we're visiting with Etsy seller Warp Design to see what else we can do to upgrade our home's lighting scheme. Hi, I'm Louise from Warp Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make a New York City skyline punctured paper lampshade. Lighting is always something that I've played with because I love the way light can be interacted with, can be broken, can be uh, interpreted through materials and fabrics. So with this particular technique, I've discovered a way that's sculptural and transforms an object through both the surface and through its uh, interruption of light. The project and its technique is inspired by the old Victorian techniques uh, that they used when electrical lighting was first developed. They could finally use paper around their lamps and to decorate them, they painted them, they cut them, and they did punctured paper artwork. We're in my kitchen slash workshop. To get started on this project, you're going to need paper, graphic to trace out for your design, foam core, puncturing tools, pencils, a paintbrush, a dish and glue, some tape, two wire rings, one plane and one a clip top, ribbon, some weights, and bullnose clips. The first step is cutting your paper to size. The height of your lamp is going to be the height of the rectangle you'll cut. The next step is to lay out your graphic on the paper to start punching the first layer of graphics. After you've punched the outline, take the graphic off of your punched paper, flip it over, and start punching the starry sky. Once you've done all the punching, you're going to have to mark out on your paper the seam and where you're going to put the ribbon. To do that, you need to attach the paper to the wire rings with the bullnose clips. Once you've done that, you can draw on the inside line the seam and then take that off and then measure it to see where you want to put the ribbon. The ribbon should be about half to a quarter inch over the edge uh, on the outside and that'll leave you plenty to fold in over the wire rim. You can take it off of the wire rings, set it down flat, apply the glue on the interior edge where you've marked the seam and a little bit on the exterior side where you've also marked the seam. Then you fold it in, very carefully line up your seam edges and then apply the weights to that edge and let it dry for at least 10 if not 30 minutes to make sure that the glue is completely dried. To attach the tube to the wire rings, you first need to paint a very small bit of glue onto the inside edge of the tube. Once you've done it all the way around, you'll slide the wire ring in using the clip top as a handle, match it up to the top edge right where the glue is. Once you've got it there, use your bullnose clips, attaching them at a 45 degree angle going all the way around the tube. Let that dry for about 10 minutes, if not 30 minutes, if you have the time. Once you're done with that end, Remove the bullnose clips, flip it over, do the same thing to the bottom with the plain wire ring. Before you attach the ribbon onto the tube with the wire rings inside, you'll need to fold over the edge to make sure that you have a neat, clean edge when you seal it in. Just crease it to mark an area, apply the glue inside the crease, seal it, hold it for about 30 seconds. Once you've done that, flip to the inside of the ribbon, apply a glue to the bottom half of the ribbon, about two to three inches. Then you're going to line that up very carefully with the seam and the lines you've marked up on the lamp. Once you've got that lined up, take a bull nose clip, clip it on, make sure it's fast. Uh, then you're going to apply glue to another three to six inches of the ribbon. Do the same thing. Keep lining it up all the way around the lamp uh, along the lines that you've marked and using the bull nose clips to hold it on. Once you've glued the ribbon to the outer edge of the lamp, you're going to need to fold it in to the inner edge and over the inside wire. Once you've done that, you just finish up on that side, flip it over, do the same on the bottom edge, and you've finished your lamp. So thanks everybody for joining me to make New York City Skyline Punctured Paper Lampshade. I'll be selling them on my Etsy website at warpdesign.etsy.com. I'll also be selling the outline graphic that I use to make them. So if you're interested, come check me out. Thanks again, everyone. We'll be right back with even more lighting inspiration. Hey, Threadbangers. I'm going to Haiti in March, and we're looking for donations of blankets and plushies made by you. Click on me or follow the link below for more info on how to donate. 
welcome back. You can make your own driftwood lamp as shown on Tim Neve's blog. Crafty Nest shows us how to make a faux shell lamp. This would be even more amazing if you made it really large scale. Apartment Therapy featured Haldane Martin's home in a house tour, and the feather lantern shown here is stunning. Here is their DIY version made out of wax paper and tape. And to fill in for the lighting you don't make yourself, Design Sponge gives a lovely roundup of lamps under $100. For even more ideas, check the Threadbanger blog for my DIY lighting roundup. Until next week, remember, your nest needs you.